Hi, I'm Melinda Marshall. I'm the Senior Vice President and Director of Publications at the Center for Talent Innovation. We're publishing a report called Women Want Five Things, which I've authored along with Sylvia Ann Hewlett. It's the culmination, really, of 10 years of research we've done here at the Center on women. We always look at ambition, and we always find that women's ambition is off the charts. So with this report, we wanted to look at specifically women at the prime of their working lives, between the ages of 35 and 50, in the US, in the UK, and in Germany. And we wanted to learn what are they ambitious for? What are they leaning into? What does success look like? We've learned that there's really a five-part value proposition. Women want to flourish, which includes having their health and well-being and having a fair degree of autonomy or control. Women want to excel. They want to achieve mastery and they want recognition for that achievement. Women want to reach for meaning and purpose. They want to have impact beyond work. They want to advance causes important to them. Women want to empower others and be empowered. They want to be sponsored and they want to be a sponsor to other women. And finally, but not least, women want to earn well. They want to attain financial security and independence, which is not surprising given that some 51% in our sampling earn at least as much, if not more, than their spouses. Now, what's interesting to us is that men want these five things too. Women want them more, but the value proposition is very similar. The difference between ambitious women and ambitious men really comes down to this. Men are much more clear-eyed about how power, a recognized title and authority and position of leadership, can give them these five things. Whereas women, despite their drive and ambition, when they hit that 35 to 50 age range, it it drops off somewhat. They cannot sustain their ambition. Men, in fact, are better able to do so. And what we were really able to show here is that with power, women with power, they are much more able to have the five things that women want than women without power believe an executive position will give them. What companies should do? We've uncovered quite a few initiatives that are changing women's trajectory and their appetite for leadership. These are in our report, and I think it maps a clear way forward. I would like to thank our sponsors for en enabling this research, American Express, AT&T, Bank of America, Beringer Ingelheim, USA, Merck, Serono, and the Moody's Foundation. We're pleased to begin this discussion on a national basis. Thanks.